Hello everyone, praise the name of the living God. This is Angelic Inspired. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time watching me, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, may the Lord bless you as you sub subscribe. So welcome, welcome, welcome to this channel. And today I have a wonderful topic that I want us to learn about and know something that the Lord is saying about our daily lives. Come with me, let's learn. Yes, hallelujah. Welcome. So, do you know that sometimes God use, loves to use people who have been despised? Have you realized that in many occasions, God loves to use the things that people despise? Hmm? The people that the, the, the people that are rejected, God really loves to use such people. Why? Because the Bible says that most of the time, God wants his glory to be seen. So, don't despise yourself. The worst you can ever do to yourself is to despise yourself. It's better let people despise you, let people reject you, but don't come to a point that you can reject your own self or even despise yourself. Always know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made in the eyes of God. So, I want to show you and uh, I want us to learn something that God will always use the things that people least expect, the th the people that are least expected in the society, the people that people that that are rejected, and uh, but, so that His glory may be seen in our lives. So it doesn't matter where you are, but what I want to let you know is that you are in the plans of God. So come with me if we read in the book of John, in the book of John chapter one verses 46 in the book of john chapter 1 verses 46 the bible says let me start from from uh, from um, verses 44 philip like philip like andrew and peter was from the town of bethsaida philip found nathaniel and told him we have found the one moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophet also wrote jesus of nazareth the son of joseph nazareth that one was now Philip answering, Nazareth, can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. So, this was the question that Nathaniel asked Philip. When Philip told Nathaniel that we have found someone that the prophets were talking about, and the, the Old Testament is talking about Jesus from Nazareth, and Nathaniel was like, Nazareth, can anything good come from Nazareth? And yes, in that same, same Nazareth, Jesus Christ came from Nazareth. Jesus Christ came from that town that was being despised, from that town that people had rejected, from that town that, that, that seems to be a very small, a very tiny town, from that town that seemed as if it, it, it is not, a, it, it is not a, a capital city or it is not a, a good-looking town, from that town where people despise. Because Nathaniel, if you read this verse very well, Nathaniel said that Nazareth, can anything good come from Nazareth? Meaning that Nazareth, it was like a... It was like somewhere that uh, people had concluded that there is nothing good that can come from Nazareth, or it was just like a, it was just a, a small place that people didn't even uh, consider or even uh, think much about it. But yes, something good came from Nazareth. Jesus came from Nazareth. So most of the time you find that in this life there are, there are people who just look at you and analyze everything with uh, by themselves and say that so and so you can't go far this child cannot cannot be successful in life these people cannot make it in life you are not going to be successful in your business you are not going to be successful in whatever you are doing so these are the words of the mouth and um, most of the time, what you need to know is that these words of the mouth, they are like arrows that are being released. They are like arrows. And many are the time that, many are the time that when they, when they are being released, do not accept them. If anybody is speaking evil against you, or by any chance somebody is speaking negative things about you, or somebody is just talking negatively about you, when it happens, the, when the Lord gives you a chance that you come across them, or you hear their words speaking to you, don't accept their words. Cancel their words there and there. And if somebody is, is abusing you, telling you you are useless, reverse it and tell that person, I am useful in Jesus' name. If somebody is telling you something that is very negative, reply back with a positive thing. Because most of the time, when 
when you be able to reply back positively, you find that you 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 paralyze the plans of the enemy. You you confuse the enemy. So they are confused. They don't know what level can they use to attack you again. So yes, Nazareth was a very small despised town, but Jesus Christ came from that town, Nazareth. Remember, there were many towns that that were known. There were many respected towns, but the Lord the God chose Nazareth so that so that His glory may be seen, so that you can be able to know that God can bless from nothing to something, from grass to grace, from 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 uh, from maybe uh, from somewhere that people didn't expect you. God will change your, your, your level. God can turn around your situation. God will bless you. It doesn't matter your background. Always remember, your condition is not your conclusion. Where you are heading for, your future is in the hands of God. So it doesn't matter what you have right now. It doesn't matter how people, the society, the society is, is, is viewing your, your story or looking at you. It doesn't matter their conclusion. But what I want you to know that your future is in the hands of the Lord. It doesn't matter when whether you are educated or you are not educated. Because most of the time, the blessings of the Lord are over everybody. The favor of the Lord is upon everyone and anybody. Everybody is allowed to access the favor of God. Once you are you, you, you are you are you are you have aligned yourself with the things of God and you are in the presence of the Lord and you are seeking the face of the Lord diligently. Every blessing, the blessing that the Lord has released over our lives, everybody is able to access them. So it, uh, the, the rejection of people, those are the things that will just push you to your next level. And God will, you, will, will come into your life and bless you so that your enemies will be amazed and they will be ashamed. Because God wants to prove himself through you. God wants want his glory to be known through you. God wants to do his miracles, his wonders, his signs and wonders through you. Because anytime God does a new thing... Mm, to somebody that people were not expecting. Our God is a God of... He's a God that does things that uh, we least expect. Remember when, when God blessed Sarah. Sarah was uh, very many years. She was old, but the Lord blessed her so that his glory may be known. Remember when Jesus went to, to and, and uh, resurrected Lazarus from the grave, the Lazarus who had been buried four days. Jesus went after four days of his burial so that his glory, the glory of the Lord may be seen. Remember when uh, Job lost everything. He lost everything his children were gone, his wealth were gone, the cattle were gone, all that he had were gone. And the Bible says that when God came, he blessed him. He finally, God came and blessed him and Job had much more than what he had before. Why? Because God wants his glory to be seen. So most of the time when you are going through hardship in your life or you are going through something that is really, 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 really hurting you or you, are, you, you feel like uh, you have reached to the end and always remember that God is doing something in your life. He wants his glory to be seen. There are, sometimes we can be pressed. And uh, the Bible says that we are hardly pressed but not destroyed. So sometimes we can be uh, we can be pressed, but the Lord will not allow you to be destroyed because he wants his glory to be seen through you. So walk with your heads lifted high and always know that God has a good plan for you. He has a, he has a good future. He has a good plan over, for your future. And God will always do things that will, will surprise your enemies. It doesn't matter if you are rejected. Remember, I, I have shared with you the verse that Nathaniel rejected uh, rejected uh, Nazareth. Nathaniel rejected Nazareth. But the same, same Nazareth is where Jesus came from. Remember where Jesus was born. Where was Jesus born? So God loves to use simple things so that his glory may be seen. God loves to use things that people despise so that his glory will be seen. Hallelujah. So don't be don't be don't be angry or don't don't feel bad that people have rejected you. Sometimes the rejection of people are the starting point of God. Sometimes people can push you to the push you push you onto the wall and through that wall God is going to make a way 
through that wall. God is going to make a window. God is going to make a new thing. And he's saying that, look, I am doing a new thing. So always be somebody who is waiting for the thing, for the something new that the Lord is about to do in your life. Always be ready. Whenever you are going through hardship, remind God is what the Lord, you have promised me in your word that you are doing a new thing in my life. I may I see that new thing. Do something new in my condition. Do something new in my life. Do something new in my situation. Do something new over my life, Lord. Do something new. And I will be able to glorify your name. So most of the time when you remind God his promise that he will do something new in your life, you find that God will actually do something new in your life. So don't worry when people are rejecting you. Don't worry when people are despising you. Always remember, God loves to use God want to loves to use the 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 things that people the people the things all the people that that others don't value so that his glory may be seen. So God is going to use you so that his glory may be seen. He is going to heal you so that his glory may be seen. He is going to wipe your tears away so that his glory may be seen. God is going to bless you with a job so that his glory may be seen. God is going to bless you with a child. He's going to open your womb and bless you with a child so that his glory may be seen. God is wiping your tears away yes so that his glory may be seen god is going to do wonders in your life so that his glory may be seen all that god wants is for his glory to be seen hallelujah may the lord bless you have a wonderful moment thank you for being part of this family until next time bye bye for now god bless you thank you very much